Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. That's always one weak spot for me whenever I'm driving down the road and I see that sign for a lemonade stand. Eee! Slam on the brakes, got to stop. Uh, we have a storm system that we need to talk about, though, in the tropics. Tropical Depression 1 has formed. There's a little bit of dry air trying to intrude it from the south, but overall, this is a fairly healthy looking environment for the storm system to continue to strengthen, probably becoming a tropical storm overnight, becoming Arthur, the first named storm of the season. For the Outer Banks, we do have a tropical storm watch. You're going to see wind gusts uh, 35 miles an hour or maybe even higher, depending on where the exact position of the storm is going to be. But you could see some strong winds from the storm, high surf, heavy rain, which may result in ocean overwash for your area. Once again, here's a look at the forecast. As we go into the rest of the night and the next couple of days, the winds are at 35 miles an hour right now. The storm is moving to the north, northeast at 13, so it has a little bit of speed with it right now. Strengthening into a tropical storm tonight by tomorrow and into our Monday. We're looking at the storm getting closer to the area. So Monday morning at 2 a.m., it's still well down to our south. We'll start to see the clouds moving in overnight, Sunday night going into Monday and then some rain moving in before sunrise on Monday. Monday at 2 o'clock, 50 mile an hour winds. The storm is mostly offshore, but it still will be throwing some of those high wind bands for the Outer Banks and also into the Hampton Road cities as well. The storm continues that push off to the east by Tuesday, and it starts to get out of our area. Let's talk with the timing of the rain here. For tonight, we're looking dry with passing clouds. Tomorrow morning, we'll see more cloud cover. We'll have more clouds tomorrow, and it will be a lot cooler. The wind is out of the northeast tomorrow, so we're not going to see highs in the upper 80s tomorrow. Tomorrow, highs will be in the 70s or maybe even in the 60s. Here comes the rain. Monday at 4 a.m., we're starting to see that rain push in from the south from what could be Tropical Storm Arthur. The winds are not too strong. This wind represents the Hampton Road cities, so not bad, but we will have some bands of heavy rain moving in throughout the morning on Monday, and this pushes in all the way to the northern neck and the eastern shore, so we're all going to get rain, it looks likely, from the storm system as we go throughout the first half of Monday. I'll zoom it out a bit, show you again where the storm is coming in from the south. So here's the storm system Monday at 8.30 in the morning. There's that area of heavy rain again across the Hampton Road cities. The center of circulation still down to the south. The yellow lines mean 20 mile an hour winds. The red lines mean 40 mile an hour winds. So as we watch the storm get to its closest point to Hatteras by Monday at 2 o'clock, there are some of those yellow lines across the Hampton Road cities. So maybe winds around 20 miles an hour, but not too bad. The strongest winds could be affecting parts of the southern outer banks and eventually out over the ocean, which could create some of that high surf. The rain continues into Tuesday morning, and we'll see rain almost all week. There'll be some higher waves, too. Look at what the wave heights are forecasted to be just offshore, where that buoy is there, 11 feet. They won't be that big, possibly, at the, uh, at the Outer Banks, but they still could be, though, if the winds are strong enough. We could see wind gusts around uh, 50 miles an hour, possibly, for some spots near the uh, center of the storm. But for other areas, it'll be likely around 35 miles an hour. It's blocked by that bug right there. Temperatures will be fairly mild as we have the storm move through the area. We could get around two inches of rainfall. So there's a look at the rainfall forecast. We have clear skies right now. Here's your seven day forecast. Only in the 60s and 70s for the week ahead. There's a rain chance every day this week ahead, Monday through Friday.